So this is going to be a quick video on the old free. Sorry about the noise on the old free bike I was given. We did lots of work on it. Um, we did a brand new front panel. I did the um, some of the electric work, uh, petrol tank clean, car clean, uh, stuff like that. A new ignition set. What I'm going to show you in the test today is if the old cutting the pink or purple wire in the CDI really does de-restrict the bike. From my experience, the restrictors are in the exhaust and the variator and the CDI. So um, it would be highly unlikely to get any more speed out of cutting one wire in the CDI. I'm going to show you exactly how to find and cut the wire on a 50cc direct bike. And then I'm going to do two runs, one with the wire attached and one without and tell you if it made any difference at all. So to make it a fair test, the new battery's in, I'm going to warm the bike up fully um, and then take it out and try and get a top speed out of it. It's actually a very smooth, quiet engine at this point. A bit lifeless almost. But it is a 50cc, a restricted 50cc, so we'll see. So again, sorry about the noise. There's building works going on. I'm gonna do two runs. up and down this road, um, one's uphill, one's downhill and one's flat, I'm going to see what the maximum speed I can get is, then I'm going to come back and do, show you the restriction in the CDI and do new runs to see if it makes any difference at all. So it did 26 miles an hour with me on it. Um, I am 15 stone of pure muscle, obviously, and um, it should really have done 31, 32. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna take this battery out. So I'm gonna show you where the um, CDI is and I'm gonna show you how to restrict it, that uh, de-restrict it even. So as you can see the battery's out, I'm now going to be taking off this screw, there would be one there or should be, there's one there too, and then this plate's going to come out. Let me see if I can uh, get you in a nice position. Ideally one where my phone doesn't fall over and smash. should have access to the 
be on. See the guys right there. So we pop it out. Apparently, this purple wire here is the only thing restricting this bike. I'm highly doubtful I'm going to cut it. That's all I'm going to do cut it twice to make sure it doesn't touch itself inside when we're riding and then connect it back up. Wiring like this, you don't need to worry too much because if this bike didn't start or it was the wrong wire for any reason, all you have to do is leave yourself enough so that you can wire it back together. So I'm going to cut it quite low down here once and a tiny bit more so that it doesn't touch when it's back in. So you can see that that purple wire is now cut. the CDR unit back in its holder. Battery tray back in and we'll connect up the battery. So in a moment of truth, if that has worked, this bike will start up. That's the, that's the first thing. And secondly, it will go above 26. So it started. Ooh, and then it stopped. That's why it probably just needs warming. Uh, I'll start it again. The idol. Great, so I'll set you up as usual because um, you love these uh, flybys <laughs> or uh, 26 mile an hour buys.
you know what? I almost wanted to bust this myth, but it was definitely faster. Um, all round faster actually, slightly better um, pickup, and it did kind of 35 mile an hour with me on it, which means this could be a 40 mile an hour bike with someone lighter. Um, I wouldn't call that a full de-restriction, I'm sure there's other restrictors in there, and it would be illegal to use this bike de-restricted. I'd say that this bike was now working at an equivalent um, 31, 32 mile an hour is the normal 50cc speed. This is doing the same. So um, that's good. This bike's going to be up for sale soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with MOT. Let's do some MOT checks. Uh, let's get some lights on. Let's get a high beam. Let's get uh, indicators. Other side. Do a horn, it's got a horn, lights off, they're not needed. I'll check the suspension for leakage, um, but I think it's fine. Um, the tires seem spanking, it's done no miles, it's 2588. It's hardly run in. I think I'm also going to put the, uh, the rear tray and back box on. Um, just to cover up them holes and make it look a bit better actually. So uh, I'm going to sell this bike for roughly 250 Again, no MOT, but I have no doubts that this will just go to the shop and pass. Um, and I've only got the new keeper slip at this stage because this is a one bike from new. Um, but that means the new owner will get a free logbook anyway. It will just take slightly longer, roughly a month. So. Uh, I'll show you um, a quick pick when I put the rear box back on and uh, I'll consider this bike done and finished.